This is Stuart Cameron with a look at yesterday's rugby from the Borders. And let's start with Melrose winning the Border Cup following their 33-5 win over Peebles. They scored five tries from Andrew Skeen, Joe Helps, Richard Mill, Rory Knott and Andrew Nagel. And that win puts them in the quarter-finals of the Scottish Cup where they'll have a home tie against either Gala, Ayr, Stirling County or Edinburgh Ackies on February the 15th. They'll be joined in the hat by Heriots and Glasgow Hawks, who won their Edinburgh and Glasgow Cup finals respectively yesterday, plus either Howe Fife or Aberdeen Grammar, who play next weekend in the Caledonia Cup final. By the way, Ross Brown scored Peebles' only try, and we hear first from Peebles skipper Dale Clancy. We obviously, I think we started quite well, first 20 minutes, came out quite physical, matched them in defence, we were defending quite well, it was kind of going to and fro, but I think after a while we maybe we gave away a couple of soft scores off scrums, they were putting a lot of pressure on, balls getting very loose at eight, and I don't think we were just streetwise enough for maybe just closing that down, having someone just sitting behind the scrum and maybe just kind of cleaning it up, but that's why we've never beaten them, that's why they're kind of top of Scottish rugby, because they're well drilled, they're, they're big boys, they, they know how to play rugby, and that's exactly what they've done today. Melrose's Richard Mill. We knew Peebles would come at us. Like they're they're a typical Borders side, typical Borders derby. We didn't play our best at all today. Um, that's the, tr- the truth of the matter. Is we uh, it was scrappy, but they made it scrappy for us. They're a good side, and we we knew that. So we, we just need to we need to we need to focus on our errors and uh, and get better for our next game. There were two other Border Cup games played yesterday. Hoyk were 19 nil down at home to Selkirk, but fought back to win 21-19. Although they needed a bit of luck right at the end of the game when Rory Banks hit the crossbar for Selkirk with a penalty, which would have won the match. But it wasn't to be, and Hoyk took the four points. Tries for the Greens went to Bruce McNeil, Sean Muir, and Neil Rennick, with Fraser Harkness, Gavin Craig, and Josh Welsh getting touchdowns for. Selkirk. Kirk. Here's Hoyt coach Phil Lake. Yeah, it was, um, it was a close one when you give us a 19 point start in the first half. It tends to uh, um, be a hard uh, task to pull that back. But, um, we played a lot better in the second half and we dominated a lot of the possession in the second half and we managed to scrape a win um, even though uh, Selkirk had a penalty to win it which bounced off the, um, the crossbar. It's nice to get the rub of the green for a change. <laughs> I've been on the other end of, uh, of those sort of um, those penalties quite often so um, yeah so we've scraped to win In the other cup game Kelso beat Jed Forrest 25-21 Kelso's three tries going to Michael Robertson Andy Tate and Ian Wallace with Jed's two scored by Declan Wallace and Alan Frame On to the British and Irish Cup and Gala put in a much better performance against Leeds Carnegie than earlier in the season and they almost stopped them from getting a bonus point. In the end, the visitors capitalised on a mistake to get their fourth try just before the end and took the game 29-7. Gala's points coming from a penalty try converted by Harry Leonard. We spoke afterwards to Gala prop Rory Sutherland. A big difference from the, the slaughtering, as you could say, the last time. I think we had a, a pretty good game today. We stood up against them, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty good game. The difference, definitely, uh, this time was the defence for us. The last time they were they run right at home for them. I mean, they're they're wingers, full back, they're quick boys, good good players, and uh, I think some of our backs maybe couldn't deal with that. But uh, this time dealt with them very well. Same up front um, in the scrum. I mean, it was uh, a lot of weight coming from them in the scrum, but I think we we done well. Playing sides like this and uh, playing with this sort of pace of rugby puts you in a good stead for the Premiership. Playing against Melrose in a couple of weeks' time, playing these teams beforehand makes a, a big difference to the games. If we, if we play up to that pace that we've been playing in these games, we stand a really high chance against Melrose. You can see highlights of that game later on today on Borders Rugby Television at bordersrugby.net. In Championship B, good news for Hoyk YM. They won their second game of the season against Murrayfield Wanderers. And just like their neighbours across the fence, they also had to come back from a deficit. They were trailing 14-0 at half-time, but won the match 2014. Glenn Welsh with a brace and Gary Douglas crossing for tries. Now the rest of the results. East League 1, Hoyt Quinns 15, Hoyt Lindeen 10. Langham 14, Linlithgow 15. Portobello 34, Duns 8. East League 2, Berwick 59, Edinburgh Northern 10. Forrester 31, Earlston 0. East League 3, RDVC 10, Gala YM 19. The match between Liberton and Walkerburn was postponed. The RBS Reserve League 1, Boromir A 15, Gala A 12. Selkirk A 12, Melrose Storm 24. The RBS Reserve League 2, Kelso A 19, Carthaquins Park A 26. 
The semi-junior league, Duns Colts nil, Gala Wanderers 35. Hoyt PSA against Berwick Colts postponed. Jed Thistle 22, Selkirk Youth Club 5. The match between Langham and Hoyt Wanderers was also postponed. Melrose Wasps 109, Tyndale nil, and Peebles 12, Kelso Quinns 18. For a full list of results, fixtures and to get the latest news, results, rankings, audio and video, go to bordersrugby.net.